Today I will discuss about positive relative accommodation and negative relative accommodation. Positive relative accommodation and negative relative accommodation measure the maximum ability to stimulate accommodation while maintaining binocular single vision. NRA and PRA helps us to determine normal accommodative functions, accommodation access, accommodation insufficiency, status of fusional convergence, status of fusional vergence, and determine refractive corrections. Now the question is why it's called positive or negative relative accommodation. In positive relative accommodation, accommodation is stimulated with minus lens, that's why it's called positive relative accommodation. And in negative relative accommodation, accommodation is relaxed with plus lens, that's why it's called negative relative accommodation. So when accommodation is get stimulated or activated, it's called positive relative accommodation. And when accommodation get relaxed, then it's called negative relative accommodation. Now, what are the prerequisites for the test? Refractive status, distance correction should be placed in the trial frame before starting the test. Room condition, room condition should be a daylight condition. Target, near vision chart or card. Fixation size, N6 target or last line easily read by the patient in near vision chart. Test distance, 40 cm in front of the patient. Trial box, will be needed positive and negative lenses, trial frame. Now let's see how to measure positive relative accommodation. Ask the patient to sit comfortably and held the near vision target at 40 cm. Patient fix it at the N6 target or the last line he or she can read comfortably. Now minus lenses are slowly added binocularly in 0.25 diopter steps until the patient reports first persistent blur. Here for this patient we have added minus 0.25 binocularly and patient is seeing the near target clearly. So we have to increase minus 0.25 diopter steps. So let's add minus 0.5 diopter. Still patient is seeing clear. Let's add more. With minus 0.75 still clear. Let's add more. With minus 1 still clear. Let's add more. With minus 1.25 still clear. Let's add more. With minus 1.5 still clear. Let's add more. Finally with minus 1.75 patient is saying that there is a persistent blur. Remember Place the second lens in trial frame before removing the first lens. The power of minus trial lens required to make the target first persistent blur is the value of positive relative accommodation. So this 1.75 diopter will be positive relative accommodation value. Now interpretation of positive relative accommodation test. Expected positive relative accommodation value is in between minus 1.5 diopter to minus 2.5 diopter. It will be normal accommodative function if positive relative value falls between minus 1.5 diopter to minus 2.5 diopter. It will be accommodation insufficiency if positive relative accommodation value is less than minus 1.5 diopter. It will be accommodation excess if positive relative accommodation below is more than minus 2.5 diopter. There will be inadequate fusional divergence if positive relative accommodation below is less than minus 1.5 diopter. Because minus lenses in positive relative accommodation testing induces accommodation and increases accommodative convergence due to the AC by A link. In order to maintain clear binocular single vision, the eyes must neutralize the accommodative convergence by fusional divergence response. Inadequate fusional divergence can therefore limit the endpoint of positive relative accommodation measurement. Positive relative accommodation can also identify overcorrection in hyperopia and undercorrection in myopia. High positive relative accommodation value can be indicative of overcorrection in hypermetropia and undercorrection in myopia. You might be thinking, how does positive relative accommodation can identify overcorrection in hyperopia and undercorrection in myopia? Let's see in the next slide. In both condition, 
over correction in hyperopia and under correction in myopia raise focus in front of the retina to shift the rays in the retina we need certain amount of diverging or minus power this extra minus power will be added to the positive relative accommodation value which results high positive relative accommodation value in over corrected hyperopia and under corrected myopia so if patient's accommodation response is normal but showing high positive relative accommodation value then it indicates over correction in hypermetropia and under correction myopia is done during the refraction now how to measure negative relative accommodation ask the patient to sit comfortably and held the near vision target at 40 cm patient fix it at the n6 target or the last line he or she can read comfortably then plus lenses are slowly added binocularly in 0.25 diopter steps until patient reports first persistent blur the power of plus trial lens required to make the target first persistent blur is the value of negative relative accommodation now interpretation of negative relative accommodation test expected negative relative accommodation value is in between plus 1.75 diopter to plus 2.5 diopter it will be normal accommodative function if negative relative accommodation value falls between plus 1.75 diopter to plus 2.5 diopter it will be accommodation insufficiency if negative relative accommodation value is more than plus 2.5 diopter it will be accommodation excess if negative relative accommodation value is less than plus 1.75 diopter there will be inadequate fusional convergence if negative relative value is less than plus 1.75 diopter because addition of plus lenses relaxes accommodation and stimulate divergence due to ac by a link in order to maintain clear single binocular vision the eyes converge or use fusional convergence inadequate fusional convergence therefore can reduce the end point of negative relative accommodation negative relative accommodation can identify over correction in myopia and under correction in hyperopia high negative relative accommodation value can be indicative of over correction in myopia and under correction in hypermetropia you might be thinking how does negative relative accommodation can identify over correction in myopia and under correction in hyperopia let's see in the next slide in both conditions over correction in myopia and under correction in hyperopia rays focus behind the retina to bring back the rays in the retina we need certain amount of converging or plus power this extra plus power will be added to the negative relative accommodation value which results high negative relative accommodation value in over corrected myopia and under corrected hyperopia so if patient's accommodation response is normal but showing high negative relative accommodation value then it indicates over correction in myopia and under correction in hyperopia is done during the refraction stay with smart optometry and study optometry smartly